Hello and welcome to the HVAC Diaries. My name is Jessica and I am a commercial and industrial HVAC apprentice here in Vancouver, Canada. Today is Saturday, May 7th and this is my weekly HVAC vlog. This week's vlog is brought to you by Nice Job. If you want reviews for your business, try Nice Job. One of the highlights of this week was installing a, a new condensing unit for a walk-in beer cooler at a rugby club at this most beautiful location in Vancouver. And what's, that's one of the really fun things about this job is that we get to see so many different and interesting places. We get to work in the most interesting places and often where it's like authorized access only. I love that. I love that about this job. You just get to go to so many different places. So. This work location was just so beautiful. Green, green grass everywhere, birds chirping, there's float planes nearby, like so nice. The reason we installed this cooler, this condensing unit from her, is because their their system right now, well, their old system, was a water-cooled system on a city water loop, which at the end of this year is no longer allowed. It's gonna be illegal to have a, a system on a, on a city water loop. So we actually appreciated quite a lot because this company is being proactive about changing their equipment instead of waiting till a deadline and scrambling at the end of the year. We're doing it now, so we're gonna be totally compliant way before the time which is great the building itself is quite old um, so the installation was a little bit tricky and if i'm going to be honest with you guys my dad spearheaded the entire job it was his baby he's got a personal connection to this this rugby club so um so he really took the lead on this one and i was just a helper But because the old system is runs on R134A refrigerant and this new system runs on 404 refrigerant, we had to, well, my dad had to replace the TXD, the thermal expansion valve on the inside and the evaporator. I did take a selfie with the new TXD beside my little pendant here. I wear a little TXD around my neck, which I think is just the coolest thing. Um, this guy found me on Instagram. He does custom jewelry. He's actually a tech himself, but he does this custom jewelry and he sent me this TXV pendant and I just think it's the coolest thing. So here is an old, the old TXV that I took for show and tell. I just brought it for you um, and there you go. Also this week we um, attempted to replace a door heater in a walk-in freezer. Is actually at a Tim Hortons. <sighs> Working at Tim Hortons sucks. <laughs> it is so crowded with machinery and equipment and the workers there are just all over the place and it doesn't really matter that you've just taken 20 minutes to set up your little system, your, your workstation, and then they're like, sorry, I just have to get behind you. I just have to get those muffins. Like, oh my gosh. So when I ordered the replacement parts, my dad was very specific. He was adamant about getting the bottom plate. He's like, get the door heater itself. It's like this heat trace cable. And I've got show and tell again. I've brought it for you. This is the old one. So get the heat trace cable itself. But then he suggested that I also get the cover plates because they've been bashed around so much by the stuff. They will just replace everything and have it all perfect. And, so get the cover plates for it. Make sure you get both sides, the top and the bottom. So when I called the supply place, I was very specific about getting the bottom plate. And they're like, there's no bottom plate. This, These are all the parts that you need. There's no bottom plate. Okay, cool. So all the parts arrive. My dad's like, where's the bottom plate? Like, we don't need a bottom plate. All right. Make sure, Jessica, make sure. So I call the place, the place up again. 
are you sure there's no bottom plate? They can't. They were like, I reassure you, there's no more parts that you need for this job. You've got everything you need. You know where I'm headed with this, you guys. So we got a site, we start taking things apart, and we need a bottom plate. <laughs> All right, I don't know if the bottom plate is got to do with the door frame now I don't think so I think it's got to do with the floor not with the door anyway so now my dad's like mm, I was you know specific about the man I'm just trying to do my job and then I get I feel like just I'm taking everything so personally so I'm just like man I can't do anything right I can't even order a friggin replacement part without getting it right so anyway, so once I get my hands on this bloody bottom plate, we're going to go back and we're going to try this whole thing again. However, next time I suggested that we go there at like 9 p.m. Because working there during their busy time, during any part of the day is just too crazy. It's, it, it's silly. It's silly. The rest of the week was just filled with HVAC maintenance, uh, filter changes. We responded to a no heat call where we replaced a gas valve. Um, what else? Just the regular stuff. I did my filter change at the, the liquor store. Made a whole bunch of TikToks and Instagram content. The CRM system that I use for Cam Cool is called Jobber. And they're actually giving away a bunch of grant money this year. They did the same thing last year. They gave $150,000 of grant money away to small uh, service-based businesses. And they're doing it, doing it again this year. So they're currently taking applications. Applications are open until May 26, I believe. And once again, they're giving away $150,000. And they're giving away grants in the, in the amounts of $1,500 to $15,000 and for all various stages of business. So if you are in North America, check it out. That's all I have for you this week, guys. I hope you all had a great week. I hope you learned something. I hope you made a new connection. I hope that you got some stuff done, make some, made some progress on whatever you're working on. And I hope that you have a really fun weekend. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. And although we haven't really celebrated in the last couple of years, we're, we've decided to do something really fun tomorrow. We're gonna take our mom on an, on an outdoor adventure. So hopefully she enjoys it. I think we're gonna get a little bit dirty. It's been so rainy and I think there's gonna be mud out there. And my mom is a very well-dressed, well-put-together lady, so it'll be fun to see her dirty. <laughs> so I wish everybody out there a really happy Mother's Day if you celebrate it. Have, have a great weekend. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you again on the next HVAC vlog. Nice job. A whole bunch of TikToks and Instagram content.